Plastic Model Builder. Welcome back. This is the Ravel A10 Warthog, also known as the Thunderbolt. It's a 148 scale. This is part four of this series. You are watching me right now put in the wing slats of this model. I painted the whole model. That way I could get inside. And now I'm putting those on. That way you could see the difference. That way, you know, if somebody wanted to look down inside of there, they could say, oh, well, it is painted inside. So that's what I did. You can see the camo paint job there looks pretty rough. We fixed that up later on. Right here, we're doing the inside of the wheel wells. Uh, the reason I did this is because I looked at the, the design of this model and how it goes together. It looked like it's fairly difficult to paint the wheel wells while they're on. So I painted everything. We're going to have to do some touch up there. Not a big deal. Touch up is fine. We know how to use an airbrush. So here we are. This is the left wing. We're just going around there. Get a little bit of the uh, wheels there. The uh, landing gear that we have paint this it's going a gloss white color you see around that all uh, light green there some of it's a little bit dark green we are going to paint some other parts for this later on we want to make sure that those are also the same color and they go in the right spot because one's a different color than the other one so here we go we're just touching up the rest of that get it nice and good and here we go this is the wing fairing the gear fairing that we put on there that goes gloss white on the inside so you see why I did this because you have to paint one then the other then you could kind of mask it off or not it was just easier to do with the whole plane with those off so this looks like this is the left one and the right one is a different color it's a lighter shade of green it's the light green that one's the dark green so you just go around make sure you get all of it good because you want it to look good when you do it and there we go it looks nice and pretty and white after we get that we're going to uh, paint the gear fearing color covers and those also go two different colors and you'll see me do that a little bit later on almost done here just going to get the inside of this real fast doesn't have to be too perfect because it's really hard to see inside of those you'd have to pick it up look with a microscope and a light probably to see it if you really care that much about it I didn't so those are done this is the front wheel well and the front landing gear. You see I masked that off right there. Make sure your paint's cured. You don't want to lift it up. I did use acrylics on this. So here we go, getting around here, slowly getting the inside. Maybe you should have done that a little bit earlier as well. And as I said earlier, here are the uh, covers right there for those fairings. No, I don't have two separate paint brushes. It's a video. I edited it. I made one color, then the other color. Then I cleaned the brush and then I went back with it because it's acrylics. They dry quite quickly. So I was able to do this. I wasn't too concerned with the brush marks. It's on the bottom of the plane. I never look at the bottom of the plane. I just see the missiles and the bombs and all that cool stuff that's on it from the front. So here we go. It's looking a lot better with all the touch up. Take those off of the sprues. We're going to glue those onto the fairings. Then once those are glued onto the fairings, we can put that whole assembly onto the landing gear itself and it'll look pretty and we can touch it up so just scraping away some excess paint you know you always got to do that I got a little sloppy with the airbrush didn't really care you can see right there I didn't get that top so well but it doesn't matter you're not really going to see it uh, you can go around and put some of the touch-up paint on there too with that uh, cover in place you see I had that on there that was just to show you what it looked like so you can put that on and then once that's done just touch up the paint around that if you want to see it that's why I'm scraping that away right there is because you're going to put some more glue on there. So here we go, getting the other fairing, putting that on for the cover. Time to glue the fairings on. I test fit them first because they can only go one way. Put that on, I fit it right over that landing gear and just pressed it down. This is the other one. We're going to make sure that is nice and secure. All the paint is off of there, that way it glues nicely. Just put a little bit of glue on there. We'll put this over the landing gear, and boom, there it is. Now for the fun stuff, what makes the model the model. The bombs, missiles, and the fuel tank. So this is a fuel tank. I'm painting this in olive drab color. Look pretty good. This is one of the Maverick missiles. That too goes in olive drab color, so we're just going to show you one, then we're going to finish the other. Remember, you should probably use something to hold them down, otherwise they go flying up when you paint them. I have that knack of doing that because I just get lazy. So we're just painting this missile. There are six of these. We're going to show you all six of them. Why? Because I can, and you can sit there and watch it. There is only one fuel tank, which is this one right here. 
Gonna get all of that, get those rare fins. Here we go, Just get the end of that missile. This is another one, getting that other side. Make it look pretty. It's a nice olive green color, olive drab, whatever you wanna call it. I know they have two different styles. So here we go, painting another missile. Getting that done. The other side of it, like I said, there were plenty of these to go around. No lack of spare missiles. Here we are getting the other side of this bomb. I'm sorry, it's a fuel tank. There we go. That's done. Might put another couple coats on there and make it look pretty. Good enough for me. And look at that. All done with the second coat. Up next, another missile with the Maverick missiles. There are six of these, as I stated, so you want to make sure you get them all if you want to put them on your plane. If not, there are other options that you can do. They also have the uh, cluster bombs, a bunch of those if you wanted to put those on instead. Mine are, of course, on my Falcon, which is, you know, the Thunderbird, which I've talked about that video a lot. If you want to see that video of my Warbird recreation, look at that video. It's the F-16 Thunderbird of Warbird version, the only time they ever armed one, and I did that version. Made some custom decals for it. Here are the cluster bombs. I showed you one already. Here's another one. Only putting on two on this plane because of the reason I just explained earlier. These are also an olive drab, olive green color, whatever color you want to call it. Just make them look pretty. These don't get any decals on them, but the Mavericks do, so we'll show you that a little later on. After we finish up with these Maverick missiles and these cluster bombs, we are going to paint the napalm bombs, and those are just gigantic. So we will make those look pretty as well. They go a wonderful aluminum color. So you want to make those look pretty when you're doing them. A lot of missiles here. There are six of them. Just be careful when you get them done. You know, take your time, make them look pretty. Uh, you're going to have to paint the insides of these black on both sides, and they also get a wonderful glass piece. You will see that later on, just not in this episode. Here we go, painting more of them. Almost done. Very soon we can paint some napalm bombs. I think we should start with those right about now. And Q, there they are. The aluminum paint that we are putting on these. Take your time, go back and forth. Put on a couple coats. We've got two of these. Don't break your tail fins. Uh, we put those on in a previous video. Make everything look pretty. Those were put on the video before. Here we go. It's kind of hard to tell because they are silver, so they just kind of reflect the uh, lighting that we're using. But once I put the decals on, you can really see the aluminum color it comes out in them quite well. Getting the rear tail part of this, because as you see, I'm holding it in my hand. Just got to twist it a little bit so you wait till the color dries. Let them sit, and you go back. Using a toothpick, realize that helps. So that's just another method of doing this. And you can actually see the aluminum color in there. It comes out really nicely. All right, got our gear doors. Got a bunch of those. One is dark green and the other is light green. There are two sets of them. Missile rails. Make sure you paint these the right colors. I think I painted mine one dark green, but then had to go back and repaint it in a later video light green. I think you actually see me doing that there because uh, I did paint it dark green and it's not supposed to be. They're both actually a light green color. This one's light green. It's just hard to tell. So here's another one of the wheel wells where one is dark green and the other is light green. And you can see the difference there because each fairing that those go on looks a little bit different. Front landing gear, that goes dark gray. We're gonna paint that here. Uh, don't forget to paint the insides a gloss white color if you haven't already done that. I actually stuck mine on the model and just used a brush to do it. We're gonna to have to paint these as well. You see these are already done, so use a brush, get those on. I used them to glue because they were small areas that were just hard to reach. Uh, these were quite interesting to put on too. I, they, the directions are not really clear. So you just have to be careful when installing these. Lots of parts. I painted those after the fact and just used a brush. I wanted to put those on as they were. Some more little parts. As I said, there are a bunch of little parts for these. By the way, I did get a uh, new cutting tool. You're going to see in a little bit. Got my uh, cement right there. 
So this is what I'm talking about. This is the top part of the landing gear. This thing has a little box for the pin that goes on that. Same with the lower portion. It's going to go in there. And you see this is the dark green side. Have some struts. Putting the struts on. Those were a pain. You may want to use super glue or something that dries really quick so you don't have to hold them on. Tweezers were hard to do. That's the rear cover right there. And you see I didn't paint those yet. I'm going to go back later. Might show it, might not, of me painting those. That gets twisted into place. It's, those were also hard to put in. You see a different shot here of these going onto the plane. Put that on there. It's got a different area to go on. And then you can see the box for the top where we're going to put that. Putting a little super glue to make sure it holds. Literally, just be careful if you're doing that. It bonds fast, and you want to make sure you get it right the first time. Here's the very end piece, and we are going to put that on. Sometimes it's okay to scrape the paint away, other times it's not. It just depends on how strong of a glue bond you have and how well that paint is bonded on. If your paint's not bonded on, it's not going to work out, so you need to be careful of that. And this is what it looks like, just adding a little bit more touch-up on there. We're going to put on these little hydraulic lines, whatever you want to call those. I don't remember the name of them. But they're going on and here is the front landing gear we are going to put on the one piece to that and it gets two of those smaller little pieces they go on the side it's a little crooked don't worry we're going to fix that later on not a big deal and you can see that right there here we go put a little bit of plastic cement right here on those little hinges we are going to put this in bam there it is check it out looks wonderful make it look pretty and we'll paint that later and finally we have our Maverick missiles we are going around them painting this black stripe we want to make that look pretty remember there are six of these to do so you got to be careful when you do it it's got a small little line around it that you want to make sure looks nice and pretty as you're doing this so you can see the engraved lines a little bit better there. Just follow the lines, you can mask them off. I didn't follow how the instructions were. I actually looked up online on the internet to see what these missiles actually look like to get a good idea of how to paint them. So like I said, we're just gonna go around. We're doing all six of these. Takes a little bit of time, but you know, if you want your model to uh, look fairly decent, you'll take the time and make all six of these missiles and put them on. Got a couple of them left here. You just see, just going around the lines. It's not hard to kind of freehand this. That's what I did. I wasn't too concerned with how it looks. It's a model. I wanted it to kind of look like a model, like I painted it by hand, not look like some machine did it. So we got the missiles done. Paint the inside of your cockpit that goes black. We're going to put the canopy on there a little bit later, along with some other parts. Go around. I'm just using my enamels for this. Be careful. Don't get any on the edge. If you do, you might have to do a little bit of touch up. Not a big deal. By the way, if you haven't noticed, you can see when you're looking at this plane now that I already did the touch ups around the camo. And you're going to see that a little bit later on. Take our masking tape off because the cockpit, it's done now. Once we did that, we're going to put a uh, gloss coat on all this model. As I mentioned earlier, paint the tips black and the rockets inside black. Because what happens is, you're going to get this little small plastic piece and stick it on. It's supposed to represent the uh, glass nose cone that comes on top of these uh, Maverick missiles here. So, like I said, six of these down to three. Not too many of them left. Quick little process, and we will get it done as soon as possible. Here we go. Almost done. Guess what's coming up? putting on the gloss coat so we can put our decals on this model and here it is you can see the wonderful camo job that was done there with all the touch-ups clearly you see I redid all the lines around there we're just going to put all the gloss coat on this it's a little hard to tell it's just a regular gloss coat but you know good enough that the decals don't silver afterwards here we go get your tail fins I just tried to really get the main areas not too bad especially where I know all the decals are going to go a lot of decals I had to make a whole separate video just for decals because there were that many of them to put on this plane uh, some are common markings some are not I'd advise doing the regular markings then the common markings after that made it a lot easier to do in my opinion that way everything comes out perfect gloss coat flip over the model want to get the back side 
make sure you get that evenly as well and it looks pretty we don't want it to look icky and no silvering we are going to go back over this later with a flat coat and make it look really good after the fact right now we're just getting the rest of it as you see i actually did the landing gear already didn't show that maybe didn't have video of it but who knows either way you see you get a nice even couple coats of this of the gloss you want to make it look pretty just going back and forth oh i hit that a couple times took a while until it broke off but i finally got it and it looked pretty now we are going to put some decals onto our maverick missiles but before we do that put some gloss on that so we're going to show you that here now very simple i'm just brushing gloss along the whole thing by the way i used lacquer so it uh, is kind of um running on the black since the black is enamel didn't let it cure enough if i did it probably wouldn't have done that not a big deal I touched it up later getting all six of these missiles i just grabbed painted by hand it was a lot faster than holding it made them look pretty here we go almost done not too many of these to worry about you see i got a little bit of run there too oopsie no big deal we're going to do the same thing with our uh, cluster bombs except i just do one area i don't paint the whole thing just where we're putting some yellow decals on those uh the yellow decals on those one on the back it actually went on fairly well the one on the front didn't but i put it on just so we could see what it does and i left it like that you may want to have some sort of tool that paints lines for you so here we are we're putting the uh gloss coat on the uh, front of that cone there and that's how they look on most of the uh missiles that i've seen it goes closer towards the front even if you went to put it towards the back it doesn't wrap around far enough it will on the back i'm sorry but if you what i meant is closer towards the back of the front of that it wraps around kind of funny uh these are the cluster the napalm bombs it just gets one little red thing around it and we're going to make that look really nice there we go let that dry while we're letting it dry we're going to glue on the frame for the canopy the canopy frame put it on this glass here uh, this was the last thing I put on the model a little tricky as you see I don't like putting on the canopies on because I feel it's just another piece to break off and the way this sits in there it's unconventional like all the other canopies it fits right into a slot in the model which I didn't like and you can see it right there how it holds on here we go starting with the missile decals and the bombs these are for the bombs themselves going to cut those out i didn't use too many why because two of them are on my falcon plane so here we go fronts and the backs same size just putting a little bit of a uh, coating on there a little water a little decal set whatever you want to call it and you'll see it gives me a little bit of trouble it looks like it goes on fine if it wraps up like this but as you push it closer to the front to make it connect because it's a curved piece it just doesn't match up so you want to do something a little bit different than what i did and i'm showing you here just how horrible it actually looks this is the back end it's pretty easy you just kind of put the decal on spin this roll it work it really slow push it down a little bit there we go and it connects fairly easy towards the rear where those fins are no big deal with that here's another one for the front one we're going to show you and you can see how it crinkles even on um, microsol didn't help that out not one bit it just wasn't good enough maybe if i cut them a little bit shorter i could have done that but then that's even more of a big pain in the butt it just it didn't want to conform properly here are the red ones we're going to use those for the napalm containers fairly easy all you do just put a little uh, decal set micro saw micro set whatever you want to call it that's what I use it goes right a little bit past the curved portion here you see I just roll it and it goes on really well didn't take any time to put this decal on it was off just a little bit but enough to where I could push it even and you won't even notice look at that that one's done pretty fast repeat the process for the second one here we go roll that make it look just as pretty it's just as important as all the other bombs and missiles we're almost done with this video plastic model builders we got our instructions right here this is for the maverick as you can see decal 48 no it's really decal 49 
so make sure you don't go nuts looking for it because it's not on there you got four decals per missile usa something else i'm sorry usaf something else and then a couple of warnings so make sure you get them we'll put these on i only showed you one not all four this time shame on me i know so get these all cut out. You can see all the decals right here. Here's the USAF, and there was the other ones that said US Air Force on them right there. Real small, small little decals, little warnings on each fin, and of course the lift ones. Throw them all in our water. We'll get them out. We'll let them dry, just like we did the other ones. Let them sit. I didn't have to put those in very long. Put your little micro set on there, micro saw water. There it is. Got a little hair on my brush. We'll pick that out. Put the one that goes on the rear right there. No lift. You can see how that's positioned right in between those fins. I tried to make this look exactly like it did on the pictures that I've seen, which is fairly accurate, and this is how it was. So here we go, coming towards the end of this model. I thank you for watching. Look out for part five where we put all the decals on there. As always, comment, subscribe, and like for the updates.